Greetings. I am Dr. Jonathan Crane, and I welcome you to my laboratory. You are going to be instrumental in helping me create a fear toxin that will destroy the Batman. I do hope that you are comfortable in my laboratory. As I have mentioned, I am a doctor. A doctor who specializes in phobias, in fears. Fears of the mind, fears of the body, and their inexorable link. Think about it. When you feel afraid, what do you think about? Do you think about feeling afraid? Or do you feel your heart beat faster? Do you feel the butterflies in your stomach? That's the adrenaline pumping through your veins drawing the blood away from non-essential resources doesn't do you much good to digest if a tiger is eating you. You know about tigers, don't you? <laughs> That's why I brought you to my laboratory. You are the perfect specimen for gathering the ingredients I need for my fear gas. I have traveled all over the world researching fear, gathering rare herbs, flowers that emit pollen that affects the deepest recesses of the mind. But do you know what has been the most difficult for me to obtain? Venom, poison, things produced from the glands of animals. Reptiles with fangs that inject a toxin so terrible that it wreaks havoc on the nervous system before rendering its victim insane from fear. Do you know how hard it is to come across a stake like that? They are very rare. But then I thought to myself, there is someone out there who can give me all of these ingredients and more. And what is more, they can provide them on demand. <laughs> How delightful that would be. The first part would be obtaining you. How does one go about capturing a superhero? The problem is, is that you tend to run in Capturing one superhero is enough of a problem. Trust me, I understand trying to capture Batman to administer my fear toxin. Bits, bits, 
it is terribly awkward when he escapes and he always escapes no matter how much you check he's always got a lock pick up his sleeve metaphorically speaking it's probably in his glove in his cowl or tucked in the back of his tongue he's quite the escape artist but then so are you because someone who can transform into any animal can easily escape from me so how do I keep them from escaping? Well, of course, knocking you unconscious, that was the easy part. I don't know if you know, but toxins are something of a specialty of mine. So it was very easy to spray you with a little knockout gas and send you into dreamland. But I knew as soon as you woke up, why, you would just turn yourself into a mosquito and fly away, or more annoyingly, a Tyrannosaurus and wreck my lab. And of course, you would then capture me. And as much as I enjoy my respites in Arkham Asylum, I don't know why they keep saying I'm insane. I would rather be focused on my research. So how do I keep a beast boy in check? Well, of course, I let it be known that I have spread the fear canisters everywhere throughout your fair city and that if you escape there is a dead man switch that will release them think of the panic beast boy think of the mayhem that will happen if you do not give me Of course, if you comply, I will tell you exactly where the fear toxin is. It's all right up here. But if you refuse, if you refuse to become a scorpion, with a very specific sting. If you refuse to become one of the many mythical creatures that I know you can turn into, I have seen the news coverage. You can turn into a unicorn whose horns have magical properties. You can, more importantly to me, turn into a chimera. A manticore whose sting is so deadly that it causes instant death. I would very much like to study that venom. And that is my ultimate goal. With your help, Beast Boy, I will create a fear toxin so intense so permanent that it will drive the Batman insane. <laughs>
annoying. I am very annoyed with you. Well, it won't do you any good, plastic man, because now I will... Why, why isn't it working? You had the Teen Titan Raven read my mind. She located all of my fear toxins. And while I was monologuing, you deactivated all of them. I'm afraid that I'm going to be in Arkham for a long, long time. It's a shame. I really would have liked to have seen that manticore. Well, it seems that you've stretched your way to safety. If you would like to stretch the number of cosplays that I can do, support me, Michael, by going to Roleplay Riot on Patreon in the link below, and it will help support me. I really appreciate it. And Remember, you have nothing to be afraid of.